Welcome back. And in your business news, Emirates Airlines is set to increase its service to Colombo from the 30th of June this year. The airline will add three more flights between Dubai and Colombo on Mondays, Thursdays and Sundays, increasing the number of flights between the two cities to four each day on those days and take the total number of weekly Emirates flights to Colombo to 31. Officials stated that the move comes off the back of an increase in capacity and demand for seats to Colombo and will also also allow more people to visit the city. The three new flights will be operated with Boeing 777-300ER aircrafts, adding 126 business class and 1,158 economy class seats each way per week, as well as 23 tons of additional capacity for cargo per flight. Additionally, Emirates Airline is planning to refurbish all 35 of its airport lounges around the world over the next 18 to 24 months. The Dubai-based carrier made the announcement through a statement as it inaugurated its refurbished Paris Charles de Gaulle lounge at a total investment of 3.8 million euros. The overall size of the lounge has also been boosted by 67% with a capacity to welcome up to 156 passengers. Abu Dhabi International Airport has announced that it expects to see a 15% rise in flights per week this summer from last year. In a statement, Abu Dhabi Airport's company revealed that the airport will receive a total of 1,065 flights a week this summer, up from 956 flights seen in 2012, as global airlines are looking to boost their weekly number of flights in and out of the capital. The number of weekly seats available will also increase to 32,000 an 11% rise compared to the 28,751 seats available each week during summer last year. Officials also revealed that there has been a 10% increase in aircraft movement so far this year, with airlines such as Etihad Airways, Jet Airways, Egypt Air, Qatar Airways, Turkish Airlines and AirBlue all increasing their weekly flights. Arab Tech Holding announced today that its joint venture between Arab Tech Saudi Arabia and Greece's Turner SA has been awarded a 404 million Saudi Arabia Rial contract by Aldara Medical Corporation to build the Aldara Hospital and Medical Center in Riyadh. The six-story hospital will boast 105 beds and two medical centers in the Saudi Arabian capital on a built-up area of 107,000 square meters. Arab Tech Holding Chief 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 Executive Officer Hassan Abdullah Ismaik was quoted as saying that Saudi Arabia is rapidly developing its social and physical infrastructure and they believe there is a strong opportunity for Arab tech to participate in construction projects in the kingdom, such as hospitals, schools and transportation, adding that this is another sign that the regional construction market is returning to health. Construction on the Aldara Hospital and Medical Center is expected to be completed in early 2015. The costliest apartment in Dubai for Q1 of this year has been valued at 24 million dirhams and goes to a unit in the Dubai Marina La Rev apartment building, which was then followed by Emirates Crown Tower and Marina Residences 1 on the Palm Jumeirah, according to a survey conducted by Readin.com. The findings of the survey reveal that La Rev sold two apartments for 20 million dirhams and 90 million dirhams respectively, taking the second and third slot on the top 10 list. In in 2012, the costliest transaction was also registered for an apartment in La Rev, which sold for 34.7 million dirhams. A unit sold for 12 million dirhams in Emirates Crown Tower was placed fourth, while Marina Residences 1 sold for 11.63 million dirhams, was placed in fifth. Eight out of the top ten costliest transactions were registered in Dubai Marina, while two were registered in Palm Jumeirah. According to real estate professionals, over the next two years, 40,000 new residential units are scheduled to enter the market.